Hello ladies and gentlemen, Holotide here, and today I'm going to talk about something that I am super excited about, the potential happening. I've been trying to put together some pieces to this. I've seen other YouTubers make videos on just the surface level information of what we're going to talk about today, but I'm going to take it one step farther, deeper, no, not deeper, we can't, you don't step deeper, one step further into the tinfoil hat conspiracy theory thing that's going to happen in season four. The thing is, though, is that I really do believe that something major is happening with Season 4. If you've watched the channel, then you've known for a while now that I think Season 4 is like this real turning point for Halo Infinite. And speaking of my previous videos, I can tell that 96% of you do not sub to the channel who watch these videos, and that's wild to me. So if you enjoy Halo and you don't hate me, go ahead and throw a sub my way. We're grinding away to 15k. I would greatly appreciate it, and it would really help the channel out a lot. People tell me all the time that they don't think Halo is still popular, so let's prove them wrong. Anyways, a funny interaction happened on Twitter earlier with a user named Vincent Gat. And Unishek, Vincent said, I wonder if I just randomly tweet nonsense from time to time if I can be a Halo leaker too. Just be like, June is in season four. He has a mullet now. Suddenly gain 4,000 new followers and get posted to the Reddit. And Unishek said, I say go for it. Seems like that's what others do. That being said, I only tend to talk about leaks and things coming in the future for Halo Infinite when it's from people that I trust. And one of those people is the infamous or f or famous i guess seraja on twitter and something that kind of started this off was he tweeted what if i told you the hazmat core in season four is in a fracture now that's you know it, it that's cool it's whatever it means that this hazmat core is gonna be canon and they they kind of back up this theory with the season four fracture is gonna be ten right two and i've seen other youtubers report on that I think it's safe to say that we will probably, this is what's happening. Now, you may be asking yourself, why is that a big deal? Why is the hazmat core not, you know, the fracture core a big deal? And really the hazmat core is pretty much, or the hazmat, I guess, armor suite in Halo has always dealt with the flood. Now we've known for a while that they want to put the AI from campaign into Forge and stuff and that we've seen bits and pieces of these elite game modes for, for forever now, including Extraction and a little bit of Firefight recently. Seraja also said that in Season 4, there will be Forge Firefight and Forge Minigame alongside the King of the Hill PvE and Extraction PvE. Now, that's interesting because... There are no Flood forms in Halo Infinite. We didn't meet the Flood or anything like that. The Flood have not been in a Halo game for forever. And that's something that people have wanted back so bad. But there have been leaks here and there about Flood forms and stuff being available in the game files in Forge um, that hasn't been released to, I guess, the retail side of things. So we're getting a hazmat core. We're getting Extraction and this King of the Hill game mode against uh, PvE. We're getting a Forge Firefight. We're getting another game mode that's called Bastion. Doesn't really have a lot of info on it. Uh, Seraja tweeted a picture of it, and it just says, you know, Wart, 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 There's your Elite Hollow Tide Cross Play. Wait, what? The dictionary on Google says that it is a part of a fortification built at an angle to the line of a wall so as to allow defensive fire in several directions. Now, again... What if we're fighting the Flood? What if this is how they make the Flood, uh, not, I mean, it's already canon, but, like, how they bring it back into the game. People have wanted the Flood back for so long. They've wanted that horror aspect back into Halo for so long. I, we're gonna get Season 2 of the Halo show. If the Flood is not in there and that show doesn't turn into, like, a horror show, I'm gonna be super disappointed. But I really do think that this is how they're going to reintroduce it. The fact that the hazmat core is not a fracture core where it's just kind of, you know, in a different timeline universe or whatever the uh, the lore explanation is for the uh, fracture events, but it's in this universe makes me feel like there is going to be another flood presence in the games, which means we're just one step closer to playable elites, right, everybody? Haha, <laughs> I know you guys like playable elites. I don't know why, but anyways... 
But that's going to do it for the video, ladies and gentlemen. If you enjoyed, make sure you leave a like down below. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. And if you think that this is what's actually going to happen, let me know in the comments down below. Are you excited for these new game modes? Let me know if you're excited for the future. You know, if this is uh, coming to the game. I try not to get people's hopes up too much. But this stuff is like, it feels like it's happening now. So I will catch you guys around the ring.